What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So guys I am back with another video and today I am going to teach you the topic that is property of multiplication and division. So there are 5 properties of multiplication and there are 3 properties of division. So 5 properties are so I should name them. So the first property is closure property, second property is commutative property, third property is associative property, fourth property is distributive property of addition over multiplication and the fifth property is distributive property of subtraction over multiplication. So let us start with the first property that is closure property. Now, now what does closure property mean? First I will write the name here. Okay. Wait. Closure property. Now, what does closure property say? Closure property says when we multiply A and A, A into B, it means when we multiply two number like A, A into B, A, we can take A as 8 and B as 6. So, 8 into 6. Now, closure property says that if we are multiplying A and B, then the answer which is it means the product which is coming should also be a whole number. So these two are whole numbers and when we are multiplying them the answer also the it means the product also should come a whole number only. So it means 8 into 6 becomes 48. It means that 48 is a whole number. It means that closure property holds on multiplication. So closure property simply means that if A and B are two whole numbers then the product of them will also be a whole number. So there are A and B which are two whole numbers which are 8 and 6 and the product of them which is 48 is also a whole number. It means that closure property holds on multiplication. Now I will tell you the second property which is commutative property. Now. Commutative property. Okay. Now what does commutative property says? Commutative property says if A and B is equal to if A and B will always be equal to B into A. A into B will always be equal to B into A. It means we can take A as 8 and B as 6. It means 8 into 6 will always be equal to 6 into 8. So are they equal? Yes. 8 into 6 also. Um, so what is the product of 8 into 6? 8 into 6 product is 48. And the product of 6 into 8 is also 48. It means that the property which is commutative property also holds on multiplication. So what does commutative property simply mean? It means that if A into B will always be equal to B into A. So A into B will it is equal to B into A. It means 8 into 6 is equal to 6 into 8. So the product is 48. It means the closure property and the commutative property both holds on multiplication. Now I will tell you the third property which is the associative property. Okay. Now, the third property, which is the associative property. Now, what does associative property mean? Associative property means that if A into B into C will always be equal to A into B into C. That I should tell you that we can take A as 8, A and B as 6 and C as 4. So, first we will put the 8 into 6 in bracket. Now, they will always be equal to 8 into 6 into 4. In this, which, will, which number will be in bracket? These numbers will be in bracket. Now, 
Now what we will do first in this question is so 8 first we will do 8 into 6 which is in bracket. So 8 into 6 is 48 and 48 into 4 is 192. So we get 192. Now, now we will do, now we will do first in this we will do, we will solve the brackets which is 6 into 4. So what is 6 into 4? 6 into 4 is 24 and tw then we will do 24 into 8 which becomes 192. It means that both are equal. It means that associative property also holds on multiplication. So what does associative property mean? It means that A into, A into B which is in bracket into 4 which is outside the bracket will always be equal to A into A into B into C. B into C is in bracket. So it what does associative property say? That I have told you. It means that so the answer came equal and it was also a whole number. So the associative property also holds on multiplication. It means that these three properties which are closure property, commutative property and associative property. These three properties holds on multiplication. Now I will tell you the fourth property which is the distributive property of addition or multiplication. Okay. So let's learn the fourth property. Or property. Distributive property. Distributive property of addition over multiplication. Okay. No. Now, what does distributive property of addition over multiplication say? Like, if we are doing like 30 into, sorry, 30 into 3 plus 5, then we can do like this only also. So, I will tell you the method through which we can do it. So, we can do like this also. 30 into 3 plus 30 into so, how can we do like this? So, first we will solve the bracket. So, 3 plus 5 which becomes 8. And then we multiply it by 30. It means 30 into 8 which becomes 240. Okay. So, the answer of the first one is 240. Now, we will see that the answer of this. It means 30 into 3 plus 30 into 5 is also 240 or not. So, first we multiply 30 into 3. So, 30 into 3 is 90. And then plus 30 into 5. So, 30 into 5 is 150. Now, 90 plus 150 which becomes 240. It means the answer of both is same. Okay. So, we can follow any method. So, this method is called the distributive property of addition over multiplication. Okay. So, this is the method through which we can do it. Or we can do like this. The answer will come the same. Okay, now I will tell you the distributive property of subtraction over multiplication. Okay. So I will erase this and then I will tell you distributive property of subtraction over multiplication. Okay, now distributive property of subtraction or multiplication. Now we, we do the same here also. Like we are doing 30 into 5 minus 3. Then we can do like this also. We can do like this also. Which is 30 into 5 minus 30 into 3. So, what is all, what will be the answer of this? We first will solve the bracket, which is 5 minus 3, which becomes 2. Then we will multiply 30 by 2. So, 30 into 2 is 
30 into 2 is 60. It, the, the answer comes 60. Now we will check that the answer of this also comes 60 or not. So 30 into 5 becomes 150. Then we will subtract 30 into 3 which is 90. So 150 minus 90 which becomes 60. So the answer of both are is same. It means that so it means that we can write write uh, write like anything. We can do it 30 into bracket 5 minus 3 or we can do like this that is 30 into 5 minus 30 into 3. The answer will come the same. Okay. Now you have understood the properties of multiplication. So there were the four five properties and the five properties holds on multiplication. Okay. Now we will understand the properties of division. Now, there are three properties of division. The three properties are that first property is closure property. Now, the first property is closure property. In closure property, it says that if we are doing 8 divided by 4, if we are, if it means that if we are dividing a, a divided by b, then the answer should come up whole number. So let's check it. So when we are doing a divided by t, 4, the, the, our answer has came 2. It means the answer has came of whole number. Now we will check one more. We will check that 0 divided by 4. So 0 divided by 4 is 0 only. It means that this is also a whole number. When we are doing 8, divided by 3 then what is coming so it is coming 8 upon 3 it means that the closure property does not holds on division because the answer is not coming a whole number the answer was coming a whole number in this question the answer was also coming a whole number in this question but the answer is not coming a whole number in this question so okay now you are clear that a closure property does not represent does not holds on division okay it means that closure property does not holds on division a divided by b will always not be a whole number it should be a whole number sometimes but it will not be a whole number always okay so now you are clear about the closure property now i will tell you the inverse operations now now what is the inverse operations Now I will tell you about the inverse operation which is the second property of division. Now you know that multiplication and division are inverse of each other. Okay. So you know that multiplication and division are inverse of each other. Like we can take an example 8 divided by 4. It, it becomes 2. When we are doing it 2 into 4 it becomes 8. It means that multiplication and division are inverse of each other. So now you know the second property of division also. Now we will learn about the third property which is division by zero which is the third property of division. So the third property is division by zero. Okay. Now. The third property which is division by 0. Let us learn that. Division by 0. Now, when we are dividing like this. 0 divided by 70. Then the answer comes 0. Okay. When we are dividing 0 divided by 17. The answer comes 0. But, when we are doing 17 divided by 0, then the answer comes not defined. Okay. The answer comes not defined. When we are doing 0 divided by 17, then the answer comes 0. But when we are doing 17 divided by 0, the answer comes not defined. 
okay so now you are clear with the properties of multiplication and division also so goodbye guys in this video this much only we will met, meet in next video so if you have any doubt related to my video then you can comment me here on youtube or you can join my discord server whose link is given in the description box so goodbye guys